Hello. Welcome to West Point High. How can I help you? Oh, of course. You're the woman that called earlier. About your son? Right. Well, I actually took the liberty of putting aside some of the forms that you need to fill out. Um, so we'll go through that in a second. First... I'm sorry, we just opened, so I have to log into all my things. Alright. Let's see. I'm sorry. I just got here. I would have had this all set up for you. I'm gonna make this as painless as possible, of course. Alright. Sorry, your networks are a little slow. Especially this early in the morning. So, what is your son's name? Starting with the last name, please. Okay. All right, what is his birth date? Okay. All right, and of course, he's a male. Um, do you know his social security number? Our servers are very secure, so none of this information will get out, don't worry. Okay. Now, what was the name and address of his last school? Okay. Princess Falls. Okay. Now, um, we will be getting his schedule very soon, so I can fill this whole section out. Okay. Now, are, are you aware if he needs to switch any of his classes? He, was, he, was he pretty happy? Okay. Then I'll put a note for our counselors to fill out. Um, all right. Now, um, for signing up a new student, we do have quite a bit of forms, so I'll just clear off my workspace a little bit. Um, so, this is for him, so I'll give that to you in a second. Um, pictures kind of stuck together but. and if you want I have nothing really to do until about nine o'clock so I can help you fill out a few of these um okay so right here obviously it's his name his first and his middle initial date of birth right here um student ID which you'll get in a second whenever we go through all of his other account business. Um, obviously we'll need his social security number. Um, oh, your address, of course. Also, we need his personal health history. Obviously, you can see here, um, it has, like, allergic rhinitis, anemia, arthritis, asthma. Oh, your son does have asthma. Is it exercise induced? No? Okay. Um, back problems, blood clots, and I'm just gonna go through a few of them. Obviously, whenever you get this, you'll be able to look more closely and you know your son better than I do. Um, okay. Also, we need a complete workup of his psychological history because obviously this is a school. Um, we need to know all about his mental state. Let's flip. I'll fold this for you. Okay. 
and your family medical history right here. As you can see, um, we just need to know this just in case um, there's a chance of a psychological or physical outbreak. Um, we do have a school-wide email, um, so this is consent for email communication, which um, you will have to sign as well as your son, so just very basic stuff. things that your son has to fill out. Unfortunately, it is a very large list. Um, just, we like to get a feel for who the person is. So, and I'll highlight the things that you have to sign in here just to make it quicker, because we have that entire packet to fill out. Okay. Oh, excuse me, I have to get a drink. see right here, um, we need this entire class list, we can um, we need it in order, his schedule in order, from his previous school, um, and we need any across this part off. This is just for um, our female students. And um, for, for their physical education class. Okay, and then right here, where's my highlighter? Here it is. Okay, right here, you'll have to sign. But you won't have to sign that, so don't worry. Um, I know it looks, it looks really long, but trust me, it's not. Okay. Just put this. Serious business. You can get down to something a little bit more fun. Okay. So, this just tells you a little bit about our school. We are involved in many community outreach programs, which really makes our high school a lot different than other high schools. Um, we're very community oriented. In addition to being academically oriented, obviously. Um, I'm just going to my sweep. I have to fill out his schedule just in a, in a second. Um, so here, I'll show it to you. Sorry. Um, here is a list. Um, you can go to this website and get a list of all of the organizations that we are participating in. Um, it's really nice for our students, especially if they meet a lot of different people and see a lot of different ways of life. Um, we've gotten, I think in the past year, we've gotten five state recognitions just for our volunteering community outreach. So it's a really good program. Um, it, it is mandatory. Um, I think it's 20 hours a semester. Is mandatory but we have noticed that a lot of our students have gone over um, so this this pamphlet in here and this, I'll show you in a second um, it will let your son know a little bit more All right. oh. also down here you will see about our student exchange you have to write the number for the student exchange 
um, it's um, it's a great great program um, especially for um, students that uh, want to study abroad in college it uh, it really does in addition to you know just allowing them to travel it lets them see and experience different ways of teaching from around the world um, in fact just last week one of our students went to France so it's, it's a really awesome program. All right. And also this is just um, about our staff. We have a great staff here. Um, I will get to go on a tour after this. I can take you personally if you would like. And you'll get to see some of our staff members and see just how great they are. Now, um, and I will leave this with you. You take it at the end if you want to. Um, just to fix my shirt. We will have to do his schedule, unfortunately. Um, but it shouldn't take very long, especially since we have a lot of the same classes that he has. So first hour. What is it? On this other one, it was chem to thank you. Chemistry to our chemistry teacher. She's incredible. She's one of my favorite people. She's just very sweet. We'll meet her in a second. She has a she has a conference hour, so we won't be interrupted, I promise. Um second. Study. See, this, this won't change. His study hall will not change. Um, it's mandatory for all of our students to participate in the study hall. So that won't change. Yeah, we find that it really helps our students um, complete their work on time, which is obviously very nice. Uh, third hour. It's British literature. At his old school, it was just British literature, but here it's British literature and composition. Um, it's a little more involved, um, but he has a lot of help from his teacher. His teacher is great. So, oh, and that is AP, excuse me. Yeah, it's, it's very important that I put the AP. Um, fourth, AP psychology. This teacher is great too. I just, I keep saying that, but really all the teachers are, are wonderful. This hour? Anatomy and physiology. Um, most seniors uh, take biology. So, has he taken biology? No. Alright. Well, let's finish his schedule first and then we can fit in biology we can six physical education and seventh hour last hour world foods that is a great class they always bring me some extras that they make they're very sweet okay now um, since chemistry 2 is an elective, I think we have to change that to biology. It's, biology isn't very difficult, so I don't think your son will have a problem with it, but um, it is required, unfortunately. So. Alright, I will send that to the counselors. And your son is now enrolled at school. Um, unfortunately, we will have to have uh, his shot records back before he can start, which are located in his very back. I'll show you. They're included in your medical packet, and then we also include an envelope so you can just send them to us. 
All right. Well, I hope this was as painless as possible. Um, we really are looking forward to having your son next school. Okay, thank you. Have a great day.